Our work on growth mindsets came out of um, some people interviews that governors carried out in the summer of 2014. Uh, governors were keen to understand what children in our school felt constituted the best possible learning environment for them. The children were really positive about teachers, about lessons, about teaching strategies that we were using. But one aspect which did come out as a common thread across most year groups was that children expressed a level of discomfort about um, owning up to not understanding something, particularly in front of their peers. Um, this was some interesting and something we thought we needed to explore further because we want the school to be somewhere where children feel that they can learn safely and that if they don't understand that they can freely express the fact that they don't understand. Um, so we talked about this as a staff and with governors and somebody introduced the idea of Carol Dweck's work on growth mindsets. Uh, we introduced that in the following academic year with the children. Uh, they absolutely loved it and it's had a huge positive impact on children's learning attitudes. Um, so pupil mentoring we've been doing for several years at our school now and it has really evolved over time and the main reason we did it is because we wanted the parents to know um, more where their children was at and it was a request from them but also to have that time with the children on a one-to-one -one basis to discuss their progress and also what they thought um, in comparison to what we thought and so we have a 15 minute interview really with them up to 15 minutes every half a term uh, where we review their progress so far. We also look at behaviour, effort, their attitude towards learning as well and this year we've introduced the learning behaviours which talks about them being an independent inquirer or um, an effective participator or a team player and those have been really interesting because a lot of those skills they need to participate in their learning and to achieve so that's really helped them move on with their learning. In response to the new curriculum we've developed our team approach which stands for Testing, Essential, Advancing and Mastery. The way the system works is first of all we'll test children before we cover a topic to find out what their beginning level of understanding is and from there we'll stream them into Essential, Advancing and Mastery groups for each individual concept. Essential and Advancing will work with teacher support and independent tasks intended to make sure they've fully covered the area of the national curriculum we're looking at. The Mastery groups will then take part in independent inquiry on open-ended questions which were intended to deepen their understanding of that concept. One of the advantages of the team approach is it allows us to assess each child continually across all the different concepts that they cover, giving us an accurate understanding of what they understood before and after a concept is taught, which gives us a clear idea of progress in each class. The fact that our teachers can assess little and often reduces workload at the end of their half terms and makes the whole system more manageable. We use an assessment package that can take this information and link it directly to our percentage based summative assessment system. Each child's position within our assessment system is determined for them based on the objectives they've already mastered. We started using an app in class called Clickers, which is an ongoing assessment tool um, which allows you to pose a set of questions to your class uh, and then very quickly record responses via a set of um, QR codes that the children have um, and then it translates their answers into essentially a, a, an analysis grid. Um, so we've been using those as pre-tests and post-tests as I say, to very quickly be able to see within a, a period of a couple of minutes um, the learning that your class either, either need to complete or have completed. Um, it's really engaging for the children um, because they do get to see um, how well they've done instantly. I've been um, creative by um, thinking of um, things like that pe other people have made and then trying to make that differently. I looked at it and then see if there was anything wrong. If there was, then I'd go back through ev every single little thing and see if there was anything wrong which I wanted to change to make what I wanted. Um, I would um, go on um, like game, different games and 
think how could I make that arm um, scratch? Well, I could ask somebody else from that was doing um, whatever I was doing with me, and or I could ask. Um, I could go on the internet and see if there was any um, results that would help me. So just ideas that would help me fix things. Um, so recently we updated the homework grid uh, to make it a little bit more user friendly. The children can choose um, different tasks that they do for each topic. They get to choose whichever task they want to do. Um, they can be as creative as they like. It's very, very open-ended. Um, we've had a great parent response for the homework grid, um, mainly because the parents know what's coming up. And they can also yeah. talk to the child about what they're going to do and what they want to do and go out and get any resources that they might need. Or uh, the children had a really good response to the topic grid as well, um, mainly because they get to choose what they want to do and they really adapt it to suit their own learning style. So it's they do choose things that challenge them as well, so it's not that they're just going for the easier task. They can choose um, a really creative task, they can choose a memory task, it's completely up to them. And I think that has really put the ownership on them and their own learning, so it's really, really focused in. They, we celebrate all of the children's work in class, so whether it be we hold it up and celebrate how they've done it and the children can discuss all of the different uh, styles that have been brought in, or also we display them around school, so within a classroom you'll be able to go in and see homework on display, or in a shared area you'll be able to see it on display, and we've got a variety of ways around school that we do that. Um, so all of the children get feedback about their work. We have a great opportunity in the forum to see the headmistress and to yeah. be able to chat to her on an informal basis about issues we have. So it's she's there, she's given up an hour and a half of her time and we can have that brilliant conversation that you don't always get to have. Mm. So it's not about, you're not having an issue about your own child, you're discussing an entire class. So it's, I don't I to listen to as well because the meetings always start with the minutes of the last meeting and she'll go through and say this is what we've done and you know everything you said is going to be actioned and looked at and if something doesn't happen for a reason she's got a really good reason and then you understand. It's about value yeah. isn't it? We feel yeah. valued yeah. as Absolutely. parents, our opinions are being listened to. Um, but the minutes of the meetings are always communicated on the Tranmere Times. Um, I think one of the strengths of, of this school is communication. Um, and not only just because of the parent form, but then it is then communicated to all the other parents in the school. Everyone can see what happens. That's right, we have Twitter, we have Facebook, we have our own app. Um, so no matter sort of no matter how hard you try to maybe get away from the information, it's it's <laughs> you it's, can't you, you can't, can't. It's, <laughs> it's there. You, I use YouTube and Khan Academy to help me with things in math and other subjects. For me, Khan Academy and the people on YouTube, they explain it better than a book, because a book just tells you how to do it, but I get stuck in a special area, so I just Google up that special area. Multiplying fractions I looked up, because in class I wasn't the best at it, so I went home and tried to do it. But then both my mum and my dad were busy doing work, so I went onto YouTube, found somebody who explains it, and just watched him. I, I think I'm a better learner when I do this because I can learn at my own pace and specialise in the subjects that I really need to understand more. School counsellors are um, helping problem people if they have a problem instead of always going to Mrs Martin. Okay. You get selected by your class because they want you to be in school council and help your class. Um, to be selected for school council you um, have to have a vote in your class. Our job is to make the school a better place. And, and to be healthy and really happy school. So we um, discuss with Mrs Martin if or not we should do something about it. We've, um, in the um, water jugs, um, food was getting in it and so we um, um, put lids on it so no food would get it.